Welcome to a video with Mr. Long and we're looking at Microsoft Word or Word Processors and we're looking at a multi-level list. So before we get into multi-level lists, we need to understand what we talk about by levels. So let's take this for example. This is an example of a multi-level list. We've got lots of different levels. We've got like sub, like tabs, like for example, we've got subsections. There you can see Word, Excel, Access. Those are like the main sections. That would be what we call level one. And then there's subsections to it, which would be like level two. And then sub subsection would be like level three. So let's talk about what, how those levels are created. So let's look at that first little bit there. That that first column that for the word the Excel axis that's what we would consider level one. Okay, so that's very easy. For the first one would be a one. The second one's a two. The, the third one's a three. And the way to create level one is to have level one followed by a bracket. Very simple. The tricky part is now when we get to the other level. So let's look at level two. So this level over here. This is what we consider level two. So how do we create level two? Well, let's look. So that first little number, where does that number come from? Well, that two for 2.1 and 2.2, uh, that comes from the two for the Excel. So that's actually that first number. It's not level two. That first number is coming from level one. So let's look at the access. Do you see that three, 3.1? Where is that three coming from? It's coming from level one's three. So as we can see in this case, all of those numbers that are in the, the first number that appears in level two is actually coming from level one. And then what happens after it? Well, you can see after it, there is a dash. So then we will put a dash after our level one. And now we've got these numbers. Now that first one is the first one for that particular level. And then it goes to a two, which is the second one. And then when we look at the axis, that's the, the first one for its option. So that's actually its own level. That is actually level two. So to make our level two structure we actually need to take a level one followed by a dash followed by level two so that two point dash one that two comes from level one and that one comes from its own level so does that make sense about the levels okay well let's try level three let's see if we can work this out okay level three there we go let's look at that 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 first particular number there that, that, that two and that three and that three where is that coming from well, it's not coming from level two. It's coming all the way from level one. That's where that two comes from. Where, that's where that three comes from. It comes from level one. And then after that, we have a dot. So let's put in a dot. And then we get these numbers, the two and the one and the one. Do you see, you notice how in the access, it, it didn't change from a one to a two. It kept on being one. Why? Because it's not this level. It's coming from, there we go, from the, the level before it, which was level two. That two is linked to the two above it that one is linked to the one above it so we actually have a level one followed by a dot followed by level two because it's not changing that level that number is determined from the previous level and then we have another dot so we must put in a dot and now for the next level we have a one it always starts at one but if it moves to the next one it changes the moment we see a number changing itself like it's going from one to two to three then we know we are dealing with the current level and in this case, we're dealing with level three. So to make that particular one, we need to go level one, followed by a dot, followed by level two, followed by a dot, followed by level three. So how do we apply this to our particular Word document? So yeah, I've got a diagram. That's not actually text. It's just a diagram of text of what I want this text to look like. Now we can see the different levels there. We can see the black lines are level one, one, two, three. And then there's a level two, which is the blue stuff. And then the orange stuff is the level three. Now, I'm not too worried about the colors. I'm not going to change the text to the colors, but I'm just using that to highlight the different levels. And I want to apply it to this text. Now, the first step, the most important step is to actually select all the text that you want to apply the levels to. Otherwise, if you just do it to one, then it's only going to apply to that particular line. You want to apply it to all of these lines. Great. Now, I don't want to do bullets. So that's, there is the bullets. I don't want to do numbering. There's numbering. I want to do a multi-level list. And there is the multi-level list option. Okay. So now let's click on the options. Now there is nothing over here that does what I wanted to do for that particular multi-level. So I'm going to have to define a new multi-level list. 
Let's see what options are available to us. So there we go. We can see this looks nothing like what we want, but we can define our own levels. I'm moving this to the side so that we can see what we want. I just, I just want to make sure. Yes, we've got everything selected. Yes, make sure that you've got everything selected. There we go. Okay, so now that we're here, we are dealing with level one. We can go all the way up to level nine, but in our case, we've only got three levels. So we're only going to define level one, two, and three. And when you do each level, you can specify the alignment. You can specify the font if you wanted to change the font for that particular level. Um, you can even, there are even more options over here with, uh, that you can play around with if you want to. So I'm not too stressed about them. I'm stressed about what the level looks like and maybe a little bit about the indentation or the alignment. So let's look at level one. Level one is a dot, a one, two, three. That's the current level followed by a dot. Now at the moment we've got a one followed by a bracket. Now, what, when we are defining the level, we're basically defining what it would look like if it was the very top option every single time. Okay. So in this case, it would be one with a dot. So therefore, we don't want one with a, a bracket. We want one with a dot. Okay. Do you notice though that the, the one is grayed, which means it's, it's going to change. When I go to the next level, it'll be a two and then a three. Okay. That means it's going to change. If I take it away and I'll just type in a one, do you see it's not gray? If it's not gray, that means it's going to be a one, and then it's going to be a one, and then it's going to be a one. It's going to be a static value. We want it to be whatever this value, this level is, which is level one, which is this level. So I can go here and go, hey, we want a, from this level, we want it in the format of numbers. Ah, do you see it's nice and gray? And then we want a dot. That means it's going to be a one dot, two dot, three dot. That's my level one. Fantastic. Now, let's go and define level two. Level 2 is not an A with that. We want to take that away. Now, what is level 2? Let's look. Do you see the first part of level 2 is a 1 and it doesn't change to the next one? Why? Because those two values are from level 1. The same over here. There's a 2 to a 2. It doesn't change because it gets it from level 2. And 3 okay, obviously gets from there. So obviously that first number is actually a level 1's value. It goes and fetches that value from level one how do i get level one when i'm in level two well include a level from what number we want level one so i first want a level one value then i want a dash so i'm going to type in a dash there then i want another number and that number goes one and then it changes to two one two that means that's a number that's changing within multiple like subsections there that means it's this level that's a level two it's going one, two. That's a one. The next one will be a two. The next one will be a three. That means it's this level. So I want to go and get from this level, which means I'm going to go and say I want it in the format of a number. So there we go. Now it looks exactly the same. It looks like one dash one. But that one from the front was from level one. And the one from the back is from this level, level two. So that means when it's a level one, when we over there, that one will stay one, but the this level two will go one, two, and so on. So that's how we do a level one. And then we can change the indentation. I think that's okay with the indentation or the alignment. There we go. That should be fine. So there we go. That is level two. Let's go look at level three. Boom. Level three. Okay. Now this is a little bit more complicated. So where does that one come from? That one does not come from level one because there's no one there. That one does not come from the one part of level one. That one part comes from the level two part of level two. Remember that first value was from level one. The second value was from level two. That one comes from that particular part, which is the level two's value. And does this make sense? That two comes from that part. Okay, so there we go. So let's take it away. So we're not even dealing with level one here. We're dealing with level two's value followed by something. So let's go, let's go levels two value. So come here, boom. Go get level two's value, please. Thank you. Now I know it says one. But it would be if we had if we had a value over here, if we tab this up, it would be 1a because it got it from that particular level. So let's look. The second part is a, a, but that a changes to a b when we go down different sections, which means it's this level, this level there, this level. So what? But it's in the format of letters, small letters. So this level in the format of small letters. So that one comes from level two. And the A comes from this level, level three, followed by a bracket. So let's put a bracket around it. And let's 
do the alignment. I'm going to shift it up a little bit just to get it nice and aligned. There we go. So it's underneath each other a little bit. I don't care about level four onwards because we don't have level four or needs for it. So I'm going to leave it like that. So let's go. Okay. Boom. And now you'll see that everything has been made into a level one. How do I get it to level two? Well, we just use the tab. So over here, boom. So that must become a level two. So I press tab once. Do you see how it made it one dash one? There we go. Now that gap is quite a bit. I can change that obviously in the settings. But then the next option, we want that to also move up. So I'm press tab and now it's one, two. That stays a level two. So I'll leave it a level one. So I'll stay, let's keep it like it is. Now the head tag, I'm going to click on it and press tab and it does the two, one. The title is a level three. So I tab it once and tab it a second time. And there we go. Now, obviously, it doesn't line up as well as we want it to, but we can then play around with the indentation. I would probably bring this a little bit back, but you can play around with that with the numbers. But we're getting the numbers correct at least. It's just the positioning is a little bit funny. The body is going to be level two. So I press tab once. There we go. H1 is a level three. So tab, tab, P tag, tab, tab. That one, tab, tab. Hyperlink stays a level one, but then the A tag goes to level two tab. And there we go. If you want to edit it, you can select it again and you can go back to the multi-level list and you can go define it again if you want. You can change it, you can define it again and you'll see it's pretty much kept the same, but we can say, okay, that the problem is I want that level two. Let's go level two. I want that uh, particular text indent to go in a bit more maybe. Maybe you want to do something like that or you want to change the alignment up a bit, something like that. So you could do that and you'll see it'll adjust all of them accordingly. Okay, so you can play around with those numbers. So there we go. That's a multi-level example. Let's do one quick one quickly. I'm going to go down here. There we go. I want this to look like that. So let's select all the text. We're going to go define multi-level list. So let's have a look at what we want. We want the first level to be a... Okay, oh, this is a, basically a, a letter, a capital letter. So let's delete that. Level one must be an A followed by a bracket. I don't know why it says start at D. So let's go change that. I click on more. Oh no, we don't want to start at D. Let's go back to A. There we go. For this one, we start at A. There we go. That's better. And we can go back. There we go. So we want an A followed by a bracket. Open bracket. There we go. Then level two, that's level one's A. So level A, so level four, so from level one, we get the A, and then we get a one, two, a one, two. That's this level. It's in the number format. So A one, followed by a space, followed by a dash, and then a space, and then we get the, the text. Okay, so that's my second level. I'm not too worried about the alignment for this example. And then at level three, you'll see it's one, one, one. That's obviously from level two, and then one, two, three from this from its own level. So level three. We will take that away and say, okay, this is going to be from level two, because it's not a C or an A. We're going to say, okay, get level one, get level two, sorry, followed by a dot, followed by this particular level, one, two, three. Well, that's this level, which is in the format of one, two, three. So there we go. I think that's fine. If we click OK, boom. Now we can move our tabs. That must be tabbed once. Should become A1. That's going to be tabbed once. It becomes A2. B stays the same, C stays the same. Self catering, we press tab once. That becomes tab, tab. That becomes tab, tab. That becomes tab, tab. There we can see it's lining up quite nicely. This becomes one level up, so level two, and menus becomes level three, one, two. Again, you can select the text, go define the multi level list, and go change it if you want. Go change the particular indent, maybe you want on level two. Level two, we want the particular text indent to be in a little bit. Maybe you want it to be in a little bit. You could do that or align it a little bit less. You play around with that if you want. Okay. Why don't you help a friend out by sharing this video with them? Let them also learn about Word as well as all of our other videos that we have on our YouTube channel. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.